Oh, top of the evening to you. It is evening for me, at least. I, and I got an email. I'm here to answer a question from not exactly human. I actually really love his question. It is, do you believe that people that raise us, our family, and that surrounds us have a large impact on our personalities? How do you think that our environment affects our own personalities? How do you think it affects who we are, who we choose to surround ourselves with? Kind of a packed question. So the first one, I was thinking about this, and I definitely do believe that, how, like our parents and the rest of our family, really do shape how we grow up. And I'll kind of more focus on me as an INTP. And I have a friend of mine who is also an INTP, who some of you have seen, Josiah. He was in some of, a lot of my other INTP videos. Um, but what's interesting that I find between him and I is that we have a father figure that, so my father is an INTJ, while his father is an INFP. They're very different. Um, to give any comparison, my mom is an INFP. So like they're that, I guess that polar, not polar opposite, but that um, difference um, that would bind my mom and dad together. Um, so his, his father is that opposite. And so these are some of the things that I have found myself different from this other INTP, Josiah. So I find that there are qualities within my father that I find myself both repelling against and also um, like holding on to, if that makes sense. So as an I or as him, my father being an INTJ, he is very decisive. Has you know that it's not judge. I, I hate saying judgmental because it it sounds the word has been used in other forms, but I mean like he can easily make conclusions or make goals and set and charge after them and whatnot. Um, so what I have found myself is that I have like taken some of those qualities. Uh, as trying to get a goal and to go after that and not that I'm tidy but he likes tidiness a little bit so um, I kind of have that sort of uh, I guess balancing out because as an INTP uh, that can be like goals and tidiness uh, and other just structural things can be very difficult uh, for us um, and so him having that structure and I grew up with that structure really did help uh, find that uh, balance and allow me to follow in suit. But something that I saw, I found myself repelling when I was especially younger was that he is, my dad is very, he doesn't consider other people's, um, I guess not really emotions, but but it's, it's his will, he's a very strong-willed individual, and unless you can 150% prove me wrong or ha or out staminize me <laughs> outrun me I'm gonna get my way and, and not in a bad way it's like in a in a good ambitious way uh, but whenever I would when I was first trying to start out like that when I was in sixth grade I could feel how people responded to that and I very much disliked that and so I found myself um, repelling that kind of side and focusing more on being sensitive to how other people or like other people's needs how i need to operate in order for them to thrive as an individual and just i don't know just focusing on them and not really much my will um and so i found myself uh being that opposite but what's interesting and so i i actually kind of built up i guess a more emotional state but as an intp so <laughs> an emotional state might seem kind of odd i, I don't but it'll, at least it will be maybe kind of more developed than other INTPs that I've come across. But this Josiah fellow, great friend of mine, he, his dad is an INFP, so his his dad has little to no structure, just in the INFP like personality type. <laughs> it's very difficult for them um, to create those structures, um, but he's all full of heart. And so I found Josiah be kind of difficult in creating like those definite goals and charging after them while I grew up with someone who did that. So I, I kind of have a, a visual and like a pragmatic, like what does it look like to set a goal and go after it, especially as a person that has a difficulty doing that. And so I find Josiah might have some of those struggles, but I found he actually is far more, uh, I guess, I don't know if you call, I mean, yes, logical based, but his emotional side hasn't really been developed. 
but I would think it's because his father is more emotional and whatnot. So he might have found himself pro- repelling off of that kind of mentality to strengthen a more like logical and um, you know straightforward mindset and not be able to really feel other people's emotions or to consider other people as people and wanting to like, I guess, um, consider, not, I don't know if consider them is the right word, but just look at them and see that they're people and actually dictate some of your decisions based on those people. Um, even though INTP still kind of do that, but like he, he is a lot more of an immovable rock whenever we get to arguing. <laughs> we don't argue very often as INTPs, you know, but we just, there's sometimes we have certain topics where like, wait a minute, there's, there's something really off here. And I would find myself kind of quivering when I find my, cause because I, I have, a, I've developed a more emotional state and he is, he's just kind of a little bit more, um, informational, but I wonder if it was possibly his father being more emotional. And so he repelled that to strengthen his, you know, more cognitive side. And while my father was very cognitive and strong, strong and strong willed, I repelled that to be more, um, sensitive to subtext and, and emotional things, especially going to films. When I went to film school and running scripts and stuff, you kind of have to be when you want to create certain kind of depths and characters and concepts. Anyway, so the next portion of the, the question is, how do you think that our environment affects our own personalities? And so definitely, like, if you grew up in definitely uh, fortunate versus unfortunate families, if you're, like, really, really rich or really poor, um, even ethnic, depending on how other people treat you, um, that's just that's a real thing out there. Um, I would think that... Um, this is kind of a little bit more universal. I mean, you as an INTP may, or maybe some people may be, may have, if they were, if they, if they grew up in a more, we'll say lower class society that's looked down upon and, or even like a race that's looked down upon, some personality types may grow more bitter or they may grow uh, more ambitious or they may grow more, um, sympathetic or whatnot because of those harsh, um, qualities around them. Um, and so maybe depending on personality types, um, those kind of strengths or weaknesses may come out depending on the, the um, environment that they possibly would live in. Um, how do you think it affects who we choose to surround ourselves with? And so like for me personally, I love choosing to ch- uh, be around people that can express themselves because I, I find that's a difficulty for me. Um, and so whenever other people don't express themselves, it's hard for me to find myself to express myself and it could be exhausting a little bit depending on what's going on. And I also really love for me personally, um, being around people who, who, who value like human morals or like, um, motivations or at least considers them, um, rather than, uh, um, I don't know, more informational things or, um, and whatnot. So I don't know if that really makes sense, but I like it when people like to seek out the heart of, of a, of an issue and are sensitive to that. Uh, because I believe that's kind of more of the fundamental, uh, part of what makes something thrive or, or not. And so when people are sensitive to that, I feel like they, they have a hold on to what's really important in life and all that wonderful stuff. So how do you think it might affect me? Um, personally for me, it will, it will allow me to, cause I've always wanted to see that side of humanity that, cause I'm being an INTP, I'm more natural about the, the logistics and the, um, the truth and the honesty and, uh, the kind of the excellence of the mind. But I recognize that there's a whole nother world that I am completely void of. And so I keep finding, I wanting, keep wanting to find people that, share this other worldview to allow myself to expand in this other place. And while, you know, other INTPs may want to only be around other people that um, strengthen the mind, the logic, and um, maybe like mind puzzles and things like that, and they grow that side of their mind really well. But then this other side becomes more and more uh, void. <laughs> and But then they get really strong to be over on this other side of the mind. And so I find myself being... Um, kind of on both ends, strong on both ends, but I'm not like professional on either end. And so hopefully it doesn't keep me <laughs> in lukewarm all the time. 
um, hopefully it comes out to be um, a good thing. And I probably should work on myself to maybe get around people that are far more informational and facts based. The only problem with that for me is that that's so um, impersonal, um, you know, facts and all that other stuff. Cool. You know how supernovas work. Okay. But how does that make a person better, you know, and things like that. And, um, but they're still cool and it's fun. I love doing like physics and I'll, I'll be walking somewhere and trying to figure out, all right, so if, if I, I don't remember all the examples, but sometimes at work, at where I used to work, um, there would be a, a barrel. And so trying to figure out the physics of where the center of mass is and then have different forces and all that stuff. And I'm trying to do calculations, calculations in my head. And it's fun and I really do appreciate doing that. But then when you look outside, the world still sucks great, you did all these equations in your head, but how does that um, build people up? How, do, how does that you know, make the world a better place? Um, so I'm always with this, fighting with this dilemma. And so how people, you know, I surround myself, I try to find people that really do focus on that pragmatic side of like, how does this actually better humanity? Because um, I really want that to be something that I focus on. Anyway, so I hope that answers your question. Not exactly human. If you have a question, please do leave it in the comment section below. And I'll try to get back to it as soon as I can. Sometimes things get a little hefty with school and work and all that stuff. But I always save tabs. I like have a whole bunch of tabs with all the all the um, questions on there. And sometimes they're up there for a couple weeks. Um, but I'll try to get to them as fast as I can. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, life, and happiness and stuff. And I'll see you guys in another video or another, another life. You never know. Bye.